All right, what's up everybody? We're gonna do a quick JavaScript algorithm and I haven't prepared this one ahead of time so I did pick it out but I don't really know what I'm gonna do for it. So let's see if we can give it a try and get it figured out. So the algorithm problem is given a string, reverse all the words which have an odd length. The even length words are not changed. So, given a function, reverse odd of a string bananas, since it has an odd length of characters, it should return sanana b. And then a string 1, 2, 3, 4 should return 1, uh, 4. So, 4 is remain unchanged because it has an even amount of characters, but these are changed. So, split the spaces count each element and reverse if they're odd then join them with the space it looks like it's what we're trying to do here so let's see if we go in here give it a try let's first of all I like to usually just start out with console logging just cuz there's one out here that's odd 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 So I got undefined, got undefined. Okay, so let's do this next. Let's go ahead and let's create an array. So we'll just call temp array equals string dot split, split at the space, I think. Dot log attempt array check. Okay, so make sure. Okay, so cool. So we do have them split up and they're in an element here temporary. Now we can just loop. I don't know why I did that. We could just loop over them. Uh, temporary map item. And let's see here. If item dot length modulo two equals zero so if it's even just return I think maybe well we'll just well since we're only operation we're doing so we'll just go that we'll do item dot reverse and let's do that. So coming down here, console.log temp array now. Let's check it out. Oh, let's do. Let's do this. Item dot split. I don't think I have to do this. Uh, dot reverse dot join. Uh, let me see here. Turn. Okay. But see, okay, why does it do that here though? Oh, well. Uh, why does it 
first four. If it's not modulo two, let's console.log item. Still grabbing all of them for some reason. Do this here. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Do this. Okay. And now all I should have to do is temp array equals temp array join on the space. And Failed. Oh, what are we doing there? Why is it still? Let's console that log temporary again. Oh, yeah, it's split here. Well, that's dirt. That's because I didn't join anything. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so right off the bat, this might not be the most elegant thing. But basically, what we're doing here is we are grabbing the original array and splitting it into, well, it's actually not even an array, the original string and splitting it into an array. Then we iterate. This can all be done in one step here. Then we iterate. And reverse any element that is of odd length. And then it's just rejoined here. And if it's not an odd length, and we just return the item. So that's it right there. And if I wanted to clean this up, what I might do is maybe break this out into a couple different functions so it's not all doing one thing. So I might create like a split function that returns a reverse and join function. So basically turn this into like a functional paradigm instead of just an overall reverse odd function that just does a lot of things. But other than that, this is, uh, this is pretty much it on the first iteration for splitting, for um, grabbing a string and then reversing any odd length characters in the string. So hope you like it. If you have any uh, comments to leave on it, any suggestions, go ahead and uh, drop them below.